Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Flycorp where today we are continuing the expansions of our very own global airport or airline company, airport company, airline company is what I'm trying to say right now. Last episode we did a lot of reworking on how we get people from Europe straight to China and all that kind of jazz and as well as that went, it turns out we're still kind of struggling. Uh, Beijing, we've, signed, we've, we've settled Beijing, it's all good. Moscow's feeling the heat. Big problem is, is a lot of them want to go to Japan. And at the minute, I completely forgot, I've only got one route into Japan. And that leads from Beijing. So we're going to set up a few additional routes for those guys right now. Uh, we also kind of unlocked uh, Mexico too. And since last episode, a few more cities within Mexico has appeared. They're starting to become quite the hustle and bustle in here right now. And that plane going from Mexico City all the way up to, where does that go? Is it Atlanta? No, Washington, D.C. It is time to get a little bit more busy. So, we have a 200,000 in the bank right now. We're going to go straight ahead and hopefully unlock two countries from the get-go. So, we can get the progression underway. Now, there's a few things I kind of need to do and understand before I do unlock these countries. And these next two countries are going to be very strategical in how we expand the net, well, the next few stages of our company. Now, I'll come on to Mexico very soon. That should be right on the border, right? Mexico? Yes, it is there, right there. I might just take that straight to Los Angeles, but I'll come back to that in just a moment anyway. Now, what I want to do is I want to get better routes directly into Japan. Uh, Russia is feeling the heat, all in the Shanghai, the Beijing, all the time, all the time right now. So there's a few things I want to do for these guys. I'm going to create, at the minute, all the routes go from here, and they stop off over here. We need, like, a middle route. So a lot of the passengers going to some of the cities around have better options, rather than taking up the majority of all the space in the plane where the majority of the customers want to go, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking Afghanistan. Afghanistan, we can turn into a plane hub. Sounds weird, yes, I know, but I can have loads of like the big major cities all connected into Afghanistan, and it can go vice versa in all other directions. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to unlock you for ninety-five thousand. Holy moly, that does cost us a ton of cash money, moolah. Uh, what I'll eventually do as well is have routes from Tokyo straight to stuff like India. To Chongqing, which is a really important one too, to get more routes coming from Ankira and stuff like that. Because if you come from Ankira, I mean, you would go for the Beijing route, but again, just try to make more stuff more logical. Straight to Sri Lanka as well for like these um, South African peeps. That's kind of what we got to do there anyway. So that will be my strategic location for country one. Now, we're not really seeing much demands coming from Australia just yet, so it makes no sense to unlock any of these countries at the moment. But we are feeling the heat with trying to get flights from um, East Africa down into uh, you know, South America. So again, this is where your boy's logic needs to come into play. Now, it's probably not as kind of smart to kind of unlock a country, so to speak, just for the traveling routes. More get more stuff connected, but at the same time, the majority of the traffic is coming from Bamako in. Uh, we have another route over here in the uh, Central African Republic in Bangui. That's not feeling the heat as much. Now, what I'm thinking of is, unlike in Nigeria, because Nigeria, Ni Nigeria? Nigeria is kind of located near Bamako. And that will also, if you set it up correctly, have good routes to Europe as well. So they can kind of share whether they're trying to go from... Um, you know, Brazil to Brasilia. Uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll set Nigeria up to kind of um, Sao Paulo and Buenos Aires. So you really have both of them in demand to kind of go where you need to go. And that's 100,000. Oh my goodness me, this is expensive. Two strategical countries now unlocked. So yes, we do have to get them all fully connected right now. Yes, this is going to cost me a damn fortune. So... We gotta do it, right? We gotta do it. So, airports are locking in all the places right now. I think we'll start first then with Kabul to New Delhi. As that will be an important route to kind of unlock all these guys and obviously get Afghanistan all connected to start with. So, we're gonna use. Da, 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 da. Do we use Lagos? Do we use Ab Abuja? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But, I mean, it's got the ring around it. Beyonce liked it, so she put a ring around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible joke, terrible joke. But we'll go to here. 
we'll treat this one as the main hub and with that we're going to first get it connected to the cities near it so we'll go for bamako that's not a problem and we'll also go for bangui over here again we're now connected to where we need to be connected to have these kind of cities all up and running we'll get a uh, mexicali all connected to now we've got a mexicali is there a cali mex on the um on the uh, the american side let me know guys let me know that's kind of an interesting one i would like to know so we had a little bit of a penalty just there and now we have no money so no money means your boy is now super poor so this place over here right now where are you oh down here feeling a little bit of the heat too now why are you so busy is it just a case of we'll upgrade the plane to get more people out but you are looking a little bit busy these days so we need some big cash right now to do these big, big expansions because what we've done, just got set up and connected is going to take a lot to get up and running. So we'll forget about Afghanistan and uh, Nigeria just for now as we try and now to get ourselves out of the constant deficit that always does appear like this. So that place really is struggling. Why are you struggling so bad? I mean, I'll upgrade your capacity so you don't feel the heat too much, but damn, boy. So, Tokyo to, let's say, Chongqing, 18,000. That will skip over a bunch of cities, but also get connected to Chongqing, which is currently connected to a bunch of other major cities in other countries, which would be another alternative route. Otherwise, they're still going all the way up to Beijing and still overloading our flights that way anyway. But we need 18,000. So, that would be my first kind of port of call right now. And hopefully, it kind of takes a little bit away from Moscow. I don't know if it will or not that's going to be interesting right i got another place just unlocked here which i assume is going to be in nigeria but i'll wait for it because your boy needs eighteen thousand. please give me that sweet cash money mood boys all right here we go hoping i've got the yeah okay we're nineteen thousand right now so we've got more than enough so there we go we've got that route now all hooked up i need the plane on that route which is coming from tokyo itself um, kind of all fully upgraded as well. So I need 1,600 big ones right now to get this all finalized. And then we have at least one major plane that's going to be able to go back and forth. Oh, look at that. I got it done before it heads back. And 176 passengers already on board. So that shows us there is demand. There is people that do want to use it. Interesting. Chile is currently blocked right now. So we're going to see issues over there. So that plane coming back and forth right now, which has, I didn't get to see, 214 on board. So that is going to save us a lot of trips, a lot of passengers, just by that one simple route back and forth there. I can see this getting very, very busy, very, very quick as the whole world changes their routes. This is just based on what's currently already at the airport without anybody taking any alternative um, routes at the moment. So... You know what it is, guys. We're now waiting for the game to wake up. Okay, here we go. The world is now celebrating. Oh, my goodness me. This is going to cause mass chaos. So in a time where your boy kind of low-key needed to be earning sweet, sweet cash, I am now going to be slowed down quite dramatically by the increase in 20% air travel. So we do have this route here that goes straight down into Chongqing uh, from Moscow. So I'm hoping that will then die. What's the word? Divide is the word I'm looking for. The amount of passengers coming in and out. But again, Moscow is truly, truly being destroyed right now. Now, big one is Shanghai. Would you want to have? I mean, do you have a direct route to Shanghai? We kind of don't have a direct route to Shanghai. I'm not saying that's what we should do, but the only direct route we have to Shanghai is to Beijing. But it would mean bringing more peeps to... It's, it's a tough one. It is a tough one right now. I mean, my main argument would be get him away from freaking Moscow altogether. I mean, Kiev... Currently goes directly to Beijing itself, which is always busy. So, Kiev to Chongqing, another important route. I mean, if I set Chongqing to also go directly to Shanghai. 
Right, the reason I'm doing that is because it tricks the game into thinking we have an actual straight route, one plane journey to Shanghai. So, you, you, like, from Moscow, you can go to Chongqing to Shanghai in two planes. That's how we're tricking the game, because right now, that route, it's Shanghai to Wuhan to... No, it's, sorry, it's Ch Moscow to Chongqing to, Shang to Wuhan to Shanghai, which is three planes. That's why they're choosing to go the, the Beijing route, which is why Moscow's been overloaded. But then they might go from Ankira to Chongqing to Shanghai, because of how short that distance then becomes. Hmm. Right, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Right, we're feeling the heat over here right now. So we're going to have to upgrade the plane a little bit. Can I upgrade it one more time? Boom. Fire engine capacity, 999. Well, 99 on board <laughs> is the right term. Right. Okay. So you got to keep an eye on a lot of stuff, but I suppose give that a little bit of time right now, and then we'll see what changes. Granted, we are currently feeling the 20% increase in passengers for New Year's anyway. we got a lot of issues here right now in Nigeria, so let's get these guys all connected. So I could connect them down there a little bit cheaper. No, it's cheaper for this one to go this way. And it's cheaper for you to go this way, but again... Wow, okay, it's dramatically cheaper. So the, the, the price difference makes sense to bring it to here. But obviously, it could lead on to us overloading this airport. So it's cheaper to upgrade it by one. And I'm going to upgrade the plane by two. That is cheaper than taking this directly to here. Now, this is the main city airport. So we'll upgrade it a little bit to have a little bit higher capacity. The plane's coming out of it. We do need to upgrade two. So I'll upgrade them t twice, two levels, uh, just for now. So we can handle those demands. There we go. Oh, and we've got one over here too. I forgot about you. I'm so sorry. I did forget about you. And another one just appeared too. I might take you straight to Largus because we've already upgraded that slightly. But these are the little things you got to do to kind of get things ticking along. So fly from, I'm not sure where that place is, but to Rome. I feel like that might be a waste of a plane. A good plane at that. So we've got that one now set up. Now, if I go play mode, now, that's probably, well, oh, my goodness me. So, it's cheaper to go there, but we already have the system set up here. So, it makes sense to technically go here. Right, Harbin, feeling it. We'll now get this route connected. And then I can leave Nigeria alone for just a little bit of time. Now, any more in Afghanistan? Not just yet. So nothing's appeared for those guys at the minute. Now, we have, have we had a little bit of time pass by? Um, is this route from Moscow to Chongqing looking busier? Not really, but I think the New Year thing has now kind of ended. <laughs> but Moscow is uh, still feeling it. That's all I can say. They're feeling the pressure. Now, is it still all Shanghai? I wish we get more planes than just five. Oh no, Ascara. So this is going directly now to Japan. So again, that will travel through the Beijing route, which the planes do look super duper busy on them. But that's where we get these connected to Kabul and kind of over. So what you would kind of do is I could have a direct route from Tokyo because we've got one to now chunking, which would go to all the places around here. But if I get one that then skips over to Kabul in Afghanistan and eventually have Afghanistan connected to all the major cities around here, you're creating this big spider web where everyone's connected and you can hop city to city. So it kind of works out. Uh, new airport now. Where are you? Ooh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Damn! That was a big sneeze, boys. That was the big sneeze, the big squeeze sneeze. Right. So play then. So I gotta get you connected. I don't know if to take you straight there or here. Hmm. I don't want to pull it there. But, no, do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull it there. I'll spend a little bit of cash on upgrading this situation. And again, that should see us through. 
it should see us through anyway. Yeah. Right, so I've got to now ask the question. Am I... I'm always going to have issues with Moscow, aren't I? I'm always going to have mis- issues with, um, with Moscow. Ottawa right now feeling the heat to Shanghai. Damn. We are going to have to... We are going to have to set up this Afghanistan route to China and Japan. To get them more crossing the earth this way. To get them away from the Moscow route. That's kind of what I've got to get done. <clears throat> so, 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 so. How much is this going to cost me is the question. So before I, I set up Japan straight to it, it's going to make no sense to do that. Let's do the other way around. So Arbin is almost... Where's this? I keep seeing this quite a few times up here. Right, it's just a case of maybe upgrade the plane. That plane on that route as well. Upgrade you. Right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So how much from Ankira to Kabul? 19,000. Now that's going to take some time to get that sweet, sweet money coming in. That really is. Now the reason Ottawa is getting overloaded is because if Moscow was overloaded and the plane came in, it wouldn't drop the passengers off. Just look at that. It's all China and Tokyo. Uh, Pablo Belga posted a video. Oh, okay. We've had a nice increase in traffic right now. So these are all for, again, oh my goodness me. Right. So I could go from Ottawa to Ankira if that's something that, that interests everybody. <laughs> it's a long route. To Kabul, then straight over to Tokyo. What a route that would be. What a route that would be. That would definitely take some of the heat off the Moscow route. But the only thing stopping me right now is cash. I ain't got it. So we got to do it in stages. We got to do it in stages, boys. So Scop G... If that's I don't know how you pronounce it. Is feeling the heat? Rome. Why is Rome now here getting here? Oh yeah, because it's going. Where is where is that place? Oh, it's right here. Is there a plane that goes directly to it from Rome? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna fully upgrade that because I know it's gonna take a while to clear all the traffic. Halifax is feeling heat. Is Halifax up here somewhere? Aha, here. I'm just going to upgrade the capacity, even though I should really upgrade the plane. There we go. So, we're on our way to getting the money. We're slowly on our way. Oh, okay. More places have appeared. So, right when I thought I was saving that sweet cash. Oh, damn, there's another place. Uh, how's the a PI recommends participate? It would cost us... No. Too much cash. Right, I'm going to bring you to there. So hopefully the, the infrastructure is in place for all these little s- s- towns right now to kind of get people going where they need to get to. Oh, my goodness, me. I feel like this is the worst time right now to be trying to do these expansions. Everything has just gone crazy on me. It really has. Now, is there many routes I can get rid of? Is this Madrid to Rome one really that used? How desperate are people to go from Madrid to Rome? Not three planes worth, right? I can keep the route in, but get rid of uh, two of the planes. Save a bit of cash that way. Just kind of makes sense. Um, who's feel- okay, Rome's still feeling that heat, boys. It's still going to that one little city, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got to wait for that to kind of disperse. Halifax is almost full. Why is that getting so full? Oh, is it, is it bringing people to St. John's? 
Right, okay, I'm gonna upgrade all this. I see what's happening right now. It's it's use it's. Oh, is that a reason why I was kind of feeling t a bit of heat too? Because these small aircraft that are carrying the people out to where I need to get them to. Oh, we get compensated. Oh, I just got compensated quite a bit of cash. Right, I'm, I understand what's going down right now. Right, upgrade that capacity. So it wasn't a, a case of getting everybody that direction because the planes are leaving their green. It's getting them directly over to Halifax, to St. John's. Which I could save two plane journeys by going straight from Ottawa to St. John's. But I think this is going to do the job. Is it? Is it not? I mean, we do have quite a high demand than normal, so I'll see what happens once it dis kind of disperses all those peeps. Right, where are you? You're over here. You're feeling heat too. Um, right, is it that plane leaving? Yeah. So at least upgrade that to kind of get people out of here. Right, I've got the cash right now to be doing these these um these routes. Oh, Kabul. We're gonna have a new route very soon. Right, so straight from Ankira to Kabul, which is nineteen thousand. Now, if I wanted to go straight to Japan, 37,000. Okay, we'll kind of wait a minute. Get a plane on there. This route here. I'll fully upgrade it so we, we just kind of have that sitting there waiting. So that is my first stage then. So all the routes to Ankira are kind of connected. We have routes that go directly to Madrid, which connect straight over to the Americas. Um... I have routes going straight to Tripoli. This is where then I might have an Ankira route straight to Nigeria. That's how I can bundle in this new Nigerian route to South America. Right. I did not, I did not realize how busy Nigeria was going to be. So I'm going to have to upgrade all these planes connecting to it. Which again does mean spending more cash. Now, fast forward... <clears throat> Hopefully we can get some cash coming in the bank right now, boys. And we'll see where the next issues start to rise. So again, Moscow's still feeling it, but we haven't truly set up our Afghanistan route just yet. So we haven't truly got that all up and running. So Kabul is always full there. Did you see that? Damn. And now we wait. I will drink my tea while I wait for the game to resume. So damn delicious. Right, well, are you gonna if if, the, if you're giving me money, then fine. If you're just telling me something bad's gonna happen after this almighty freeze, then I will be super duper mad. Oh, you gave us money. Okay, sweet. Okay, I like you. Appreciate it, Bosnia. Um, new airport just appeared to down in Mexico. I'm I'm surprised of how little issues Mexico's been. I really am. So the Ottawa route is all okay right now, so that's fine. London's looking jazzy. And yeah. All good. All good. So the Kabul plane coming back right now. Again, no demands. Because it doesn't really do anything just yet. So my main thing will be first to take it straight to Tokyo. We'll get another route. And you know what? I might do it to Shanghai rather than Chongqing. Just because... No, 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 no. It, again, it makes no sense. We have that Shanghai... No. It does make sense because it's one less plane. Kiev is almost full. Where's everybody going in Kiev? To Beijing, boys. To Beijing. This is why, again, we need that alternative route. We got our top one. Our middle one. And then this... Well... Top one, top, middle, middle. And we got some bottom ones as well. But we've almost got enough to get straight connected to Tokyo right now from Kabul. Again, even though it's going to be a major route, it's still not going to be its full full kind of um, force just yet because we still need a few more countries and cities connected to Kabul. But um, who's feeling the heat? Okay, it's a countdown. 
We're okay at the minute. So I know um, more and more places are unlocking. I just need... We'll get 40,000 to be in the safe side. Kapoor to Tokyo. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's a route in real life. But it's just a skip China to get to Tokyo. So from Ankira, it's now two flights. Jalabad. How you doing? Upgrade all of this. The plane on that route. Fully upgrade. So, sweet, sweet demands. So that's only really for Tokyo, which is why you then need another route to get connected in. Uh, for China anyway. So now let's focus on all the other places that are feeling heats. Right, how many are you bringing in? So that increased capacity in that plane should handle all of that. Moscow, Moscow. Still feeling it. All right, we're okay. We're okay at the minute. So, we do, I mean, how much is that Ankira to Nigeria route? 24,000. But again, that won't make sense until I have this connected to down here, which again is a lot of money. Uh, Kiev feeling it. So, ooh, which is why we need the Kiev to um, Kabul route, which is 21,000. That will be my next plan. To pull more people away um, from Europe, which is what the um, the Ankara route should be doing anyway. It's just kind of keeping an eye on how busy those planes are leading in. Um, right, where are you? In Mexico. I always forget to pull it in play mode when you create a new route. Um, ooh, I'm not sure where that place is. It's in North Korea. Everybody's now traveling to North Korea. Oh, great. Now Moscow is going to be overloaded again. Damn it. Damn you, Moscow! All right, okay. Okay. Now, is there any way I can get rid of some of the dead routes? The non-busy routes? Do we have many of those? Hmm. I wonder. Is there any other places where I've implemented... I mean, I think France is the big one, but I think I, I did sort it out, the majority of it. Right. Pongyang, Kiev. <laughs> They're all feeling the heat. Again, there's not a lot I can do. Not while this event's going on. Um, There's a lot of flights going back and forth here. I'm deleting you. I'm deleting you. I'm trying to save a few pennies right now. Right, they're all going to there, so I don't need that Havana to Kingston one. They can fly into Port A. Port U Prince is where they can fly into. Again, save me some pennies. Right, another new place unloaded. Moscow, Beijing, still feeling it as everyone's trying to go straight again. To, oh, no. We got the North Korean one, and now everybody wants to go to Oktoberfest in Germany? Are they really trying to cripple your boy's airline company right now? They hate me. The game legit hates me right now. Right, I keep seeing the Homs. Um, overloaded. So I'll get rid of the Damascus one. Because they can travel from a different area. And I think it's this flight here. Because of how the distance of it, I think it needs to be upgraded by a little bit more. Um, right. Okay. So, 25,000. I needed 30-odd thousand, didn't I, from Kiev? Oh, no, 21,000. Is that Kiev to Kabul? Yes. Right, get that underway. I'm turning Afghanistan into a major international hub right now. That's what I'm doing. 
Another place just opened up there again. To, rather, to save a bit of money, I won't connect it until they're screaming at me. But we'll get... Oh, red plane. So fully upgrade you. If that comes back red again, we need a second plane on that route. So this is bringing people straight into Tokyo, which then takes them straight to Beijing. Do we not have a straight to like Seoul connect them from Tokyo? Well, it doesn't matter anyway at the minute. But where's that plane? Oh, okay, it's coming back pretty decently full. So if I bought another plane. So two planes on that route. We'll see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like three events all at once. Oops. You hate me, game! Just say you hate me. Just say you hate me right now, game. It's okay. It's okay right now. Now, we'll get Kabul connected to Abu Dhabi, which is 10,000, which is not too far away. Again, it becomes another hub-to-hub -hub connection. You can see how Kabul is slowly transforming. It is slowly transforming, but I need 10,700. We're almost there. I'm ignoring every other problem right now to try and get this done. And I should really take care of all the other problems, because then I'll make money so much quicker. And bam. Kabul is going to be busy, boys. So I'll upgrade as much as I can. How busy is it going back? Got two passengers. <laughs> right, I'll keep it to there for now then. Red plane coming back from Kiev right now. So that place is overloaded. And then another red plane from Kiev. So that is becoming important. That is becoming important right now. So I might need to upgrade Kabul at this point. Yeah, I'll do that. So let's sort out these places that are overloaded. So you are a place that is currently not connected. Um... Right, I'll take you to here because... Oh, no, I can't. I mean, I can... Mm. Right, I'm going to have to take you to here. <laughs> it's New Year again. It's 20% increased. Why is all these events happening with the increased traffic? Can your boy just, like, have a day off? Well, I can't even get you connected. Damn. Right, hopefully the increase in traffic, we've kind of sorted this out. There we go. I think that infrastructure will handle it. Oh, there's another one here I didn't even know about. Right, we'll come back to you. New Delhi. Feeling heat. All the heat. Wanting to get everybody to Dakar. Which is over here. Hmm... Okay. Right, you've got to get connected, which is 3,800. But you're more important at the minute. Oh, it's a cheap and easy run. I know it's a different country altogether, but... Cheap and easy, boys. Cheap and easy. Right, fast forward a little bit then. I could do it like a... Um a big chunk of money just getting surprised by like a long lost relative or something because <laughs> I need some cash I do need some cash but at least that Kiev to uh, Kabul route is looking busy and they're going straight to they're going straight to India I believe is what they're doing which again I think they were coming before into China and then that, I, I don't know where they were coming before I'm not 100% sure so these countries are feeling it right now. This is a busy route too. Is it all going to the... Is it, what's going on? Is this global traffic's increased? I feel like we need an additional plane on this one. I don't know. But fast forward anyway. I don't know if it's down to the increased traffic. This could do with... Ooh, where are you? Where was that place that it's got all the passengers going to? Oh, is this it here? We have a busy plane on that route. 
which should leave all red. Yeah. I'm, I'm really confused with this Indian roots. I don't really know what's going on. Right, straight in. There we go. Why are you so busy? I don't get it. There's no planes going to you, is there, that I like full? Okay, yes, there is. Mumbai. But the, was there an event here? Oh, I think there was an event here, right? I think there was an actual event. There was a times two event at one point, wasn't there? I think that's what it was. Okay, if, I think it was. So if that's the case, then... Okay, it's no stress just yet. It's just a small little blip. It's just a small little blip at the minute. So we need to get back to making sweet, sweet cash. Because I need to make my next move. Your boy needs to make his next move right now. Uh, to launch a massive ad campaign costing 20000 according to the forecast, we can increase our tickets by 2%. We should do it without losing the demand. I'll do it. I want to see what happens. 20 Gs to potentially have increased monies coming in. Oh, it didn't work! Oh, but we just bit... Oh! <gasps> One billionaire just bought a lifeline ticket for 138000 Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, okay. We have that money then. Can I set up my few additional routes? So buying an additional plane for Kiev to uh, to Kabul. I've got my route down to Abu Dhabi right now. I wanted to get the route connected to Shanghai. Because that is always quite an important route. Shanghai chunking. Hold on. What's Moscow saying? Still busy, busy passengers. For, it's all, it's, Shanghai's always there in Moscow. Kabul to Shanghai. Upgrade that plane. We'll go... Hmm. Do I go Kabul to the Kazakhstan route? Now nah, we'll keep them separate for now. Yeah, but we'll keep them separate. Um, right, let's get a few of these places connected right now. And there's a place here, wasn't there, that I was also missing out? Oh, yeah, there's two places here. So, because I've got the cash, I'm going to do direct routes. Well, I'll burn this. Oh, there's a place there. Cancun. So I'll upgrade this plane. Upgrade the airport to hold the capacity. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. So I'm going to get the Nigeria route slightly underway. So if I go from Nigeria to Ankira. Again, this is my way of kind of trying to bypass a lot of the European traffic to over here. Because that's then going to lead us directly to South America. To kind of ease the Bamako route, pretty much. Um, where's that place just appeared? Ah, here. Right, we need to Montreal. A bit easier to do so. So we've got two major routes leading into the east side of Africa, which would take us directly over to the South Americas. So I've got the route connected. I've got a decent plane on it. So it's enough to kind of let us see the demands. At the minute, it just brings them to here. Now, I could go the long way and get them connected to Buenos Aires. And that will spend all my money. Or I bring them into uh, Rio de Janeiro right now. It's Sao Paulo. Wait, is that Sao Paulo? No, sorry, it's Sao Paulo. Where's Rio de Janeiro? Oh, it's right there. So it's San Paolo where they're seeing the majority. So that would probably be the one that I get connected first. So, oh, is that Yoss? I don't want to take him to Yoss. <laughs> it's done it again. Not Yoss. You. Right, 41,000. Very expensive. 
but in the grand scheme of things, it's going to be worth it. So as that comes from, you know, Madrid and um, Tripoli right now, which comes from Rome, and it can come from Inkira as well. But we got a more di- a direct, dedicated route from Ankira to Nigeria. So where this one would come from, like this side of Europe, this is like this side of Europe, slightly into Asia as well, or well, the Middle East, I should really say. Uh, but that is good. How busy is that Kabul to Shanghai? So it's not too busy just yet. I suppose we need more people coming over. Um. That Dakar route right now looks like it could do a little bit of work. Might create. I mean, that still could be the leftover from people trying to get over here. I don't know, but I'll keep an eye on it. But we've got a little bit of a quiet period right now. I don't know how long this quiet period will last, but it's a way that we can grind a little bit of cash out. We can grind a little bit of cash. All good. So where are you? Oh, another Mexico route. There is starting to be quite a few Mexican flights happening right now isn't it it's becoming quite a nice little busy country which is good to see i've got concerns about this kabul to shanghai route at the minute i kind of have um we upgrade all first yes for 50 i'll do it um so direct from kabul into shanghai there's no point me doing the tokyo to shanghai because we, you know, both Kabul is connected. Well, Kabul's connected to both cities. Okay, that's becoming busier. To San Paulo. So I take it we're gonna need another plane on this. Are right, the planes coming in? It should pick up a lot of people and take them. Yeah, I'll get a secondary plane on this. Right, so that is taking off from there. So I gotta give it a lot of time for that plane to have enough space to upgrade this next one. So once it leaves the airport, I'll fully upgrade this one. So they're like, there's one coming at half the distance. There we go. So not much traffic coming back from San Paolo, but it's coming into San Paolo. So that will be interesting. Another Mexican one. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, game. Stop freezing. I know it's cold outside. So it might be now a case to upgrade and add another plane here. I want to see how busy these two planes come back. They are quite close together, but let's see what kind of happens. So one's red. Another one's red. So another plane. So it would make sense then to connect you up to Sudan, as this is now becoming a forefront big player in Africa. Oh, Tunisia gave us 10 Gs. Thank you, Tunisia. Appreciate it right now. So one red plane coming out. Is this going to be a red plane coming out? Yeah. And is this next one going to be a red plane too? Yeah. So I might as well buy the full five planes. So it's all about waiting for them spaces again. I'll wait for that one to go. If I can select you. I'll wait before it, it's just about to go in. And boom. There we go. So that's going to bring a lot of people right now into Nigeria. To the point where I'm going to upgrade the airport by one more. We're going to need all the flights right now on the San Paolo route. So where I can, I'm going to upgrade them. I'll upgrade when that plane kind of goes into it. So that should be about now. And this next one, 
Right, I'm getting overtaken by this plane, so I'll wait. Just trying to have them like as evenly spaced out as possible to really then maximize the passengers being collected. Uh, no. All right, wait that plane to come out. Oh, damn it. Bam, fully upgraded. So, carrying a lot of passengers again. The next one will be straight from there down to Buenos Aires right there in Argentina. That will be the next kind of flight to take us. And that will solve a lot of the crossings for down into South America. And take a lot of the heat off Bamako too. That's kind of what we're hoping for. So, get you connected right now. And come on, let me click you. So yeah, Buenos Aires, you can see the demands for that is creeping up. So we do need to increase that. So I think Moscow is getting overloaded again. When doesn't it get overloaded right now? Ooh, okay. So straight into Kabul. Great stuff, great stuff. Now from here... I was going to bring it into Sudan, but do I just bring it straight into Abu Dhabi? Because they can fly down to here to there. I don't know if I should connect them to there. But then again, Sudan doesn't really have a connection to Abu Dhabi either. It has a weird connected route. It hops here. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to go straight here to Abu Dhabi. Again, we're doing more hops. So I upgrade the planes. And we'll keep it all rocking and rolling. Okay. Is it me or things do like feel a little bit more quiet today? <laughs> have they solved some of the major routes, or is it a fact that we just don't have as much issues going on with the demands? Like, you know, when the events come up, like times two traffic to this city. Is it more of a case that we're not having that happen as much? I don't know. I don't think we we're truly out of the woods just yet. All right, another place just unloaded again. I'm trying to save a bit of cash first. Germany's Oktoberfest coming in right now. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one, but it's allowing me to make a bit of cash anyway. Um, Moscow is still feeling the heat, even though we've kind of set up that route. And where's it all going to? Shanghai. Which then leads me to believe, do I just bite the bullet and go straight from Moscow to Shanghai? Because they're, they're huge cities with huge demands. We might as well just do it, right? We might as well just do it. And how much would that route cost us? Uh, 40000 Whew. Maybe that's something that we save for next episode. But either way, the Nigeria route tears through the Af... I think we've done some groundwork, like some serious groundwork right now for what we have all set up. I'm really, really, really impressed with the groundwork that we might have got done today. So we'll see how it continues. Tokyo, all the routes still set up again. Now, Kiev goes directly to Beijing. Does Kiev need a direct to Chongqing or... Shanghai as well. So many decisions, but I know it's a big player right now. We do have to kind of figure it all out. But I think we'll end it for here anyway, guys. I really do think we'll end it for here. Hope you did enjoy this. We're doing some some decent work. We're unlocking a lot of countries. There's not many left that we do need to get all up and running. We just need a big, big chunk of cash money moolah. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Oh, 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 oh,